this is the first time we've taken out this suitcase since I think we moved here, or at least yes. since last December when we went to Peru. But any excuse to go out on a staycation, we're celebrating our Valentine's Day as well as Lunar New Year. So we're going to be staying at the Fullerton Hotel for one night. And the next day we're going to be celebrating Lunar New Year with a couple of our friends. All right. Let's go. So one thing that's interesting about this time of uh, year is everything typically closes. I think usually most places get a few days off. I know I'm taking off uh, Friday and Monday and Tuesday. Chantal here is just taking off today. today. <laughs> but we'll see how this goes because uh, a lot of the restaurants and places are going to be closed, I think. Um, but I guess the hotel isn't because the hotel operates 365 days a year. We're now at Raffles Place and this normally is a hustling bustling downtown MRT station but because it's Lunar New Year it is completely dead right now. So as you can see we are now in the heart of the CBD but we're about to head over to that cool looking building right there. That's where we're staying. just checked in it's not even 12 o'clock normal check-in time is at 3 so thankfully they accommodated us a uh, little snafu with the swimming pool access so because of covid you have to make a reservation for time blocks rather than doing it today we're just going to do it tomorrow and she extended our checkout so we'll have time to go to the pool after breakfast so and hopefully the weather is still good tomorrow yeah that's always the thing we can never predict the weather so weather looks nice now but that's fine i think um, yeah at least maybe we can try and look at the Check pool. it out. Yeah. Anyway, here's the room. We are on the seventh floor. Um, there's eight floors total. Entryway, shoes off as usual. Bathroom. Really nice soaking tub. See, in mirror, you can stare at yourself, I guess, when you're soaking. Big, tall shower. Nice, clean vanity. And an auto sensing toilet. Something about clean hotel rooms that just make me feel nice. And then this is the main area. So we've got our little desk and TV, uh, and then a nice king size bed. It includes breakfast. We have cl Straits Club access, wherever that is. We'll go check that out. Uh, we have evening cocktails and canapes. I think that's it. Oh, and Check this out, a little freebie. They got a little teddy bear. That's the Fullerton bear, very cute. Oh yeah, the post he's the postmaster bear. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but um, really cool, so far so good. Lucky number here for Lunar New Year, we are in room 788. Chantal's got her new sleeping buddy right there. Really cute. So we got this little tablet here. You can request like your laundry being done, in-room dining and things like that. Has some hotel information. Let's take a look at their in-room dining. I don't I don't ever do in-room dining just because it's crazy expensive and it's not difficult for you to go downstairs and get stuff. But um, let's look. Maybe beverages? Am I reading that right? One freshly brewed coffee for $14. $29 Caesar salad. Jesus. Sounds delicious. $40 for fish and chips? Okay. All right, well, if we have no options for eating because it's Lunar New Year, I guess this might be what we'll have to do. So just discovered some nifty technology here. There's an option to do Chromecast, but all you do is scan a QR code, and now I can just use my phone and play YouTube videos. Yes! Juice of Travel is up and running. We're just about to head out and I thought I heard the doorbell ring. Little Happy Chinese New Year gift. We've got some oranges, which I believe represent prosperity. I see an Ang Bao. I don't know if uh, a full refund is in here maybe, or I don't know. And what is this? Oh, cute. 
Awesome. Thank you, Fullerton. So this thing is a replica for the 90th anniversary of this building. It has 400 and almost 80,000 Lego bricks that make this whole thing up. So right now we're in the Fullerton Heritage Gallery. We're learning a lot about the history of this building. One of the reasons why we wanted to stay here was not just because it's a fancy, beautiful looking five-star hotel, but there is a lot of history behind this building and it is really an iconic landmark of Singapore. So who's it named after? After Sir Robert Fullerton. He was the first governor of the Straits Settlement back in the mid 1800s. And the building itself, so where we're staying right now, it used to be... The General Post Office. Yep, this used to be the General Post Office, which is kind of crazy because like now when you look at it, it doesn't look anything like it would. A lot of notable folks have been in this building, including one of our fellow Americans slash presidents, Ronald Reagan. So we're just wandering around right now. Um, Gotta give credit to the Fullerton Hotel for decorating the place. It looks very auspicious, just like the rest of the singing. Auspicious, that's a good one. Very auspicious. Oh. Let's check it out. Look what Chantal found. All right, we're currently wandering around the Fullerton Hotel. Uh, stumbled across a little basement corridor and we are now on the way to, I think, the Fullerton Bay Hotel. Glad we discovered this little corridor. Singapore is full of these hidden little alleyway things and bridges and tunnels. All right, so we just made our way out of the tunnel and we are now heading towards Merlion Park. Um, I love this area of Singapore because it is beautiful. We've got great views. It is very sunny. Yes. Need my eyes to adjust to it. Holy moly. We're somewhat hungry, so we're gonna try and uh, find somewhere to like get like a little snack. But at three o'clock, we're gonna go to the afternoon tea up at the Straits Club at Fullerton for some more food. So we probably don't want to stuff ourselves, but at least something to hold us over for the next hour. Thankfully, we found a trusty spot. Can't go wrong with our Moss Burger. And this is actually a really cool location. We're right next to the Merlion. In fact, you might be able to hear in the background, but that's our little Merlion spitting out its water. That's a weird thing to say. We're gonna take a quick walk around now since uh, we just ate a pretty decent meal. And we've got about an hour or so before tea time starts. So this is the lap we're gonna do. So we're gonna walk all the way across, past the Merlion, around there to the outdoor soccer stadium thing, around Marina Bay, all the way around back to Fullerton. So I don't know how long it'll take, but it'll be good exercise. And it actually is really comfortable right now. It's not too hot and humid. So we're now walking on the Jubilee Bridge and you can see in the background right there, that's the Fullerton Hotel. Wanna do something crazy? This is how close we are. We literally live right behind this building here. <clears throat> and that's where we're staying right now. The true meaning of a staycation. If we forgot anything like toiletries or well, I guess a five-star hotel better provide it. But if we forgot anything for any reason, we can always just walk back. I think it's literally a 20 minute walk to go back to our place. So I guess while we're at it, we might as well give you guys a little tour of the Marina Bay area. This baby right here that looks like a ginormous durian, thankfully it doesn't smell like it, is the Esplanade Theater. So they hold little concerts there. There's also an outdoor component too, which I think back in the day, pre-COVID, used to have uh, free concerts like every Friday or Saturday night. And it'd be nice because we just walk here after dinner or something and just like walk along and listen to some really good music. All right, we're about to approach the second stop on this walking tour. 
brought to you by Choose to Travel. And one thing you'll notice behind me is this green construction area. I don't think this was there like a month ago, but this just goes to show how they're constantly constructing new things all around this city. Somehow they still managed to find the space. And actually, I do believe that's gonna be the new like uh, yeah. building. It's actually really cool. I'll try and add some screenshots to it, but it's gonna look really epic. And here we are now on the Grand Prix circuit slash finish line for the Singapore Marathon. From a distance and maybe with this camera, you can't really tell, but there are so many seats. And this is just like one color section, but if you look all the way down. Google says there's 27,000 seats up there. 27,000 seats in those little bleachers. That's um, probably the population of the little neighborhood that we used to live in in Boston. It's crazy. Next up on our stop is the Helix Bridge. A uh, little DNA structure that connects us to the Marina Bay Sands side. It's 280 meters long. It's the world's first curved bridge. Oh. Possibly. Possibly. I don't know if I believe that. So at night, these little guys light up here. The whole bridge lights up like green and red. It basically looks like Christmas. Um, we were always trying to figure out what these little symbols that light up are, and apparently they're part of the DNA structure. Four nucleotides. Say that again? Four nucleotides of DNA. We're just about to finish crossing this bridge. Um, we've been out for quite some time. We're halfway across. We're literally on the other side of the Fullerton Hotel now. And we are both sweating by the bay. So we're gonna go into Marina Bay Sands to uh, cool off and walk the rest of the way. Next up on our journey here, this gigantic thing. If you haven't seen the previous video or my next video, I'm not sure which order I'm po posting them yet. This is the Art Science Museum. And then just to the other side here is the shops at Marina Bay Sands, AKA air conditioning heaven. I always thought that Lunar New Year, everything's closed. This is the first time we've come here. Well, this is only our second time in Singapore for Lunar New Year, but it is pretty packed. Um, Everything seems open, all the stores, shops, restaurants. So we're only in here to just get some air conditioning um, and cool off. I don't think the mall really needs air conditioning though because all the people here are completely iced out. This is like the bougiest bougie of Singapore, which is already bougie. All right, and that concludes uh, the Marina Bay Sands portion. We're back out in the heat. It actually wasn't that cold in there this time. There's the Fullerton Hotel right there. All of this is part of like Fullerton's complex, I guess. So. There's like the customs house, the little lighthouse thing, the blue box building. This is Fullerton Bay Hotel, so that's another separate hotel. In this camera view, you can see where we live and where we're staying for our hotel staycation. So this perimeter is about 3.5 kilometers long. So right behind us are these massive skyscrapers and no one's here because no one's working today in the financial district. You can see here that this is the side of the customs house, which pretty much is just all restaurants and bars now. There's a Mexican restaurant we have yet to try called Super Loco there. And then right behind it, you can see the top level of the Fullerton Bay Hotel. It's starting to drizzle. Thankfully, we're now back under this coverage area and we are back at square one. Just uh, need to go underground, cross the street, and we'll be back at the hotel. We've just arrived on the fourth floor. It is very quiet here. Is it here? Uh, I think this is the Straits Club where we're supposed to have tea, but it See, it's pretty quiet. So we're gonna hopefully not get kicked out or anything. Okay, we figured it out. That was the wrong place. But I'm being quiet because these are all rooms. And yes, it's very dark in here. It's like a never ending hallway. I think we may have taken the long way, but the good thing is signs that are pointing us in the right direction. Oh, and I think we found it. Thank goodness. We have now found the Straits Club. 
Not to be confused with the Straits Room, which they were preparing for oh, some sort of banquet. Was it called Straits Room? Yeah, I think it was Straits Room. This is the Straits Club. So, time for some tea. We started with the Silver Moon, which is a green tea with wild berry. And he recommended the black tea with caramelized macadamia nuts, so the Napoleon was the other option. That's bougie. It's like not even hollow. This thing is very, very heavy. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. What is that? Oh, that's really cute. It's Robbie holding. <laughs> <laughs> they even know that your name is Chantal. I'm so jealous. Why are you smiling so hard? Why are you smiling so hard? So I uh, came a few days earlier and I dropped off a card because I knew they were going to have the bear here, so. It is almost six o'clock and we're about to head back down to the Straits Club. Um, it's evening canapes and cocktails till eight. It is uh, about eight o'clock right now. We're probably gonna go wander outside, walk a little bit. Everyone's done with their Lunar New Year celebrations. They're out for some dessert and we've got our ice cream uncle here serving it up. One of the nice things about Singapore, which I'm sure we've talked about many times, is that it's really easy to walk around, especially at night. Plenty of lit areas, um, very safe. safe. Yeah, very, very safe. And it's pretty. That area across the water right now is called Boat Key. Um, it's actually quite busy right now. There's a bunch of bars usually out there, and I can already see there's like a ton of people just sitting across the way. We're um, enjoying this walk, but as we do, we're starting to stare at a few of the hotels in the area. In terms of the iconic hotels that we need to stay at here. So we've knelt a few down. We need to do Raffles Hotel. We still need to do Raffles Hotel, yep. Where the Singapore sling was invented, yep. apparently. But we've already done Marina Bay Sands and we're currently doing Fullerton. The other one that I just mentioned, the Ro Park. Park Royal, I would say is on my list as well. Mm. Maybe something else oh, in Sentosa. The Sentosa one, the beach villas. Oh yeah. With the uh, underwater aquarium tank in your room. In That's your room. Really, really cool. So there's a few more on our list. It's a few more thousand dollars right there for us to spend. Um, Outside of, out of the country. Which only would happen, honestly, if we still can't travel. So we'll see. We'll see. So we lucked out, managed to find some dinner. We had Thai Express. I had a Thai basil chicken. Chantal had a seafood hot Thai. Very good. Yeah, it was really good. But yours was super spicy. Mine was Even very spicy. Even though we asked for less spicy. I don't think it was. <laughs> and I'm not great with spicy food. So yeah, that was, that was tough. But I managed to finish the whole thing somehow. I started uh, Googling like how hot Thai chili peppers are and they're 50 to 100,000 Scoville units. More so than jalapeno. Yes, it's like significantly hotter than jalapenos and whenever I think jalapenos, I'm already thinking that's way too spicy for me. So kudos to me. Singapore has taught me how to handle a little bit more spicy food. We are now inside the durian shaped building. 
Um, and there's some pretty cool artwork in here, so I'm kind of glad we took this detour. We won't be here too long because we're still looking for uh, a 7-Eleven before we head back to the hotel and enjoy a nice bath. But we did manage to go to Lush, which I'm surprised was open. And I'm really excited because we got a bubble bath bomb or whatever those things are called. We've never used them before, but we might as well take advantage of the tub we got. Straits Club for breakfast. After breakfast, we'll head back to the room, chillax a little, probably Zoom with my family to wish them a happy Lunar New Year. And then we're hitting the pool at 11.30. So for this morning, we went with the Straits Club special, the chicken kanji with dim sum. They also said they can do small portions, so we also went with nasi lemak and pancakes as well. What'd you think of breakfast? It was delicious, and we ordered too much, I think. We are swimming pool ready. Got my robe on, and we're gonna try and figure out where the actual pool is. We have no idea what floor it's on. One thing you're gonna do a lot of when you're staying here at the Floriton is walking along these really long hallways. We're now on the second floor trying to find the pool. A couple minutes later, we're still walking down this long hallway. <laughs> All right, we found it, but now we have to figure out how to get there. Okay, now we're entering the full tent spa because the entrance to the pool itself is closed for reservations. We made it. All right, I think we're approaching the swimming pool. Yes, towels galore. By the way, these towels here are like our bath towels. Literally, one of these could barely fit in our laundry machine back home. <laughs> these things are like blankets. It's crazy. Let's go. So here we are. Pool is on the second floor. We've got the boat here in the distance, and then the pool itself is pretty small. Okay, well, we just got back from the pool. We're all showered up now. It's almost 1.30. Uh, we'll be checking out soon, but did you have a good time? I did, it was a wonderful mini staycay. Yeah, absolutely. We liked it here a lot. Um, will we come back? I don't know, there's a few other hotels out here in Singapore that we'll wanna try. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us. The weekend continues.